And Nudibranch is a totally defenseless animal. After all, it's a snail in the open sea, soft-bodied, helpless. Nudibranchs feed on the most toxic substances in the ocean. They feed on hydroids, they feed on sponges, and this toxicity is incorporated into their flesh. They tell the rest of the ocean world how toxic they are by the longest running advertising campaign of any creature on the face of the earth, because they are the most colorful. Brilliant, extraordinary colors, combinations of blues and yellows and pinks and violets, of chromes and oranges. They say to the rest of the ocean, if you eat me, you will die. It's strange, nudibranchs never see the colors that they are. They navigate and move around the sea with something called rhinophores, a pair of horns that acts as their eyes, their nose, their chemical receptors. They basically feel the chemistry of the ocean. The behavior we shot was very interesting. We found nudibranchs feeding on each other. One particular nudibranch with orange spots and a clear white skin chased sea hares bit the sea hairs on their rear end and began to digest them. Nudibranchs have a marvelous sex life. They are hermaphrodites. They can be male or female at any given time. They are basically egg-laying machines. And when the time is right, they will circle each other, couple and produce a stream of eggs. Some nudibranchs even use the power of the sun. Their flesh has incorporated zooxanthellae algae. They receive sunlight, and in exchange for sunlight, sunlight produces energy. We photographed the great Spanish dancer feeding at night, even laying eggs, and then the Spanish dancers will move off the seabed and undulate through the night sea. Of all the creatures in the sea, these are the high fashion models. So I treated these things as models. And I built a small studio, a plexiglass box with something called a cirque. That's the curved back wall of a studio. It gives you a seamless background. We would never touch a nudibranch that was mating, feeding on other nudibranchs, or doing any particularly difficult nudibranch behavior those nudibranchs would be put back exactly in the same place they were found, unharmed. 